Does anyone remember the 1965 Missouri track and field team? Probably not, but they were the last Tiger athletic team to bring a national championship back home to Columbia. This year's top-ranked Mizzou wrestling team will be remembered for a long time if they can bring home a national title. KMU8's Greg Daly tells us what this potentially historic team has been focused on all year long. Winning another conference title was nice. But Missouri Wrestling wants to raise another banner in the Hearn Center rafters. It's focused on St. Louis, which has been the ultimate focus of the season. Winning a national championship in St. Louis would be the perfect ending to a perfect season. 24-0, Mid-America Conference champions. All 10 wrestlers qualifying for nationals. It makes it a lot better just having the whole team and everyone working together throughout that tournament. Individual efforts for the team's goals. Led by three All-Americans, it has been a remarkable journey. One heck of a ride, you know. Uh, it's been fun. It's been bonding. You know, I think with each and each accomplishment, um, and also with each failure, we've just gotten closer and closer and closer. Brian Smith, though, knows his team can't rest on its laurels. We had four goals this season, and we got three done. The last one, climbing the stand in St. Louis. Greg Daly, KOMU8 Sports, Columbia. The opening round begins in just a few hours, and the championship round will be Saturday night at the Scott Trade Center in St. Louis. Think back to your first job interview. You were probably pretty nervous. Now imagine that your potential employer asks you to run a 40-yard sprint as fast as you can. Then you'd begin to understand what Missouri student athletes will be going through later today at their NFL Pro Day. Representatives from all 32 NFL teams are expected to be on hand at Mizzou's Pro Day today, including a few GMs. Of course, defensive end Shane Ray will be at the center of attention as he's a projected top five pick. The NFL draft begins on April 30th. Here's a look at some of Mizzou's draft prospects and which rounds they're projected to be taken in. Shane Ray is a lock as a first round pick, almost certain to be taken in the top 10. Offensive lineman Mitch Morse is projected as a fourth round pick after a nice season. Going into the draft as an outside linebacker, Marcus Golden has slipped into the fourth round in some projections. Playmaker Marcus Murphy is projected as a seventh round pick. He could be a steal for a team in the need of a return man. The Tigers also have five more players going into the draft projected to go undrafted. Mizzou's baseball team has been on a roll lately. Winners of six straight, looking for lucky number seven against Air Force yesterday. Top of the third, though, Noah Pierce rips a single down the left field line. That brings home Sean Mize, one nothing Air Force. Next batter, Tyler Jones. He gives this one a ride to straightaway center field. Jake Ring giving chase, reaching, reaching, can't quite make the grab. Another run on the board for Air Force. They take the 2 nothing lead. Now, Pierce again in the fifth. Puts a charge into this one. That one is gone. Two-run shot. That gives Air Force a 4-1 to lead. The Tigers just couldn't string anything together offensively. They lose this one 4-2, to and the six-game winning streak comes to an end. I know what you're probably thinking. How did 9-23 Mizzou not get a bid in the NCAA tournament? Okay, you're probably not actually thinking that. But one Columbia team did make their postseason tournament. That would be Columbia College Cougars, who earned a bid in the NAIA Division I National Tournament. The Cougars finished this season with a 26-6 record, and they will take on our Lady of the Lakes, a team that finished 24-5. Columbia will look for a big tournament from their dynamic duo of Zach Rockers and Tanner Sutton, who are averaging a combined 23.4 points per game. Their first-round game will tip off at 12.30 today. Tune in to KMU8 News at 10 for all those highlights. And that's sports.